Don't forget to always get your measurements. Measure twice, cut once. This is the deal, you two. This is the real McCoy. About to change some oil. I'll start y'all off with everything you're gonna need to change your oil. You're gonna need an oil filter. You're gonna need some oil. You're gonna need a filter wrench. And you're also gonna need whatever size Allen key fits your bike is exactly what you're gonna need. Sorry about the poor lighting. This guide is not particularly, but this one is, <laughs> this happens to be, hey, hey, get out of here, go. You gotta have a mascot. But this one is for the Kawasaki ZX6R636. For this model, all you have to do is remove this bottom fairing and everything is underneath. So once you have your bottom fairings taken off, your oil is going to come out of this um, screw right here. So once you unscrew this, the oil will come flowing out. Your oil filter is right over here. This is your oil filter. You're going to want to change that every time you change your oil. I believe you don't have to. I always do. I think you should. And yeah, that's that. Make sure you have your oil pan under here before you pop that screw off. Because that screw is going to come flying out. Oil is going to come skewing out and it's going to be messy. Another thing, make sure you turn your bike on and go around the block maybe a few times and get the oil warmed up before you start leaking, before you start, before you open the, uh, the screw here. Otherwise, it'll take a long time for it to flow out because it'll be cold and like, pasty and stuff. So you want to get it nice and warm so it flows out nice and fast. All right, so to take that uh, bolt off, you're going to need a size 17 millimeter socket. There it is, 17. Uh, this sucker's going to be pretty tight, so we're going to hit him with some WD-40. Dose of WD 40. So once you get that screw out, which was a pain, open her up and see that black? Yep, that's dirty, dirty oil. Really nasty. But yeah, you let this drain out for a couple minutes and then we'll get back to the next part. Next order of business is this oil filter right here. Oil filter pliers here. There you go. And into that oil pan. A lot of times if you stand the bike up then it'll drain all of the rest of the oil out. filter take the plastic off gonna take some oil and rub it along the rim just along the rim along that rubber grommet 
so no leaks happen. And so it's easier to take off the next time. And just screw that guy on there. Yeah, it doesn't have to be crazy tight, it just, just tires you make it with your hand. Right there. After that, we're gonna put our our nut back in there. And then we're gonna fill this puppy up. All right. So once you have your bolt back on, you don't need the oil pan anymore. You're going to pull your oil into here. You have a gauge here. It's gonna tell you your minimum and maximum oil levels. You're gonna to wanna to go right in the middle, somewhere in the middle. I'd rather have more oil than not enough oil, so I go a little over the middle. Every time you pour oil in here, you're gonna to have to stand the bike up and let it settle to get a proper reading. So let's pour some oil. I believe it's like 3.2 quarts of oil. Different bikes are going to be different. So once you pour it on, stand her up. No. If you guys can see or not, but it's not quite to the minimum, so we're gonna pour some more. And basically, you're gonna keep doing this until you get the desired amount of oil. So once you've uh, filled it up, notice this little tag over here. It says oil capacity and filter not removed is 3.4 liters. Filter removed is 3.6 liters and completely dry, meaning you took the filter out and replaced it 4 liters. So you have to put, I ended up putting a full gallon of oil in here. Close her up. and put our fairings back on and we are all set thank you guys for watching it's been another episode of trm live one make sure you guys leave me a comment go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed there's gonna be more good content coming soon peace